Hey guys, this is Kuba and welcome to Bratislava. I've been traveling to this beautiful city for over 10 years. I still keep meeting people asking me how to get to the city center, where to buy the bus ticket or just on what to do in Bratislava. So today I'm going to answer all of these questions and give a few recommendations on low-cost activities in Bratislava. Let's start with the transportation. When you arrive in Bratislava, you will probably land on one of the two train stations, main bus station or at the airport. For those who will arrive at the airport, take the bus number 61 to Hlavna Stanica, which is the central railway station. From here, take the number 93 to Zochova, which is right in the downtown. This takes approximately 40 minutes. From the bus station and both train stations, you can reach the city center within 10 minutes. From the bus station, take the bus number 210 to the central train station and from the train station, Bratislava Petržalka, the bus number 80. You can buy the tickets at any orange ticket machine or at any newsstands. If you have the international student card and you are under 26 years old, you can travel with the discounted ticket. Price for adults without a discount for the 60 minute ticket is 90 cents, represented with the blue button on the picture. Discounted price is 45 cents, here the green button. Church of St. Elizabeth is also known as the Blue Church. It's located in the eastern part of the downtown Bratislava. It was built in 1913 and it is so famous that you will even find a small model of it representing Slovakia in the Brussels Mini Europe. If you want to get in, it's open Monday till Saturday 6.30 to 8.00 am or 5.30 to 7.30 pm. A must see is also the Bratislava's castle. It is not just a significant historical monument, but also a great viewpoint on the city center and the Danube River. You might ask yourself what is the strange looking tower on one of the bridges crossing the Danube. This is UFO. In the top of the tower there is an expensive restaurant which is, in my opinion, not worth visiting. You can walk up to the castle from the city center, just follow the signs, it takes around 10 minutes to get there. Right under the castle, you will find the Hvezdeslav Square. It's named after a Slovak writer. Here, you will also find the Slovak National Theatre. During winter, beautiful Christmas markets and an ice skating area is located at this square. During summer, this square hosts many exhibitions and traditional events. If you want, you also can get Bratislava's best ice cream from the pastry shop Lukulus. On the square you might find the statue of Pavel Orsak Vyatoslav, and if you get lucky, even the American hero Forrest Gump himself. Not far away from the Vyatoslav square, you will find the Primates Palace. It's over 200 years old, and I guess today mostly common for the free Wi-Fi, which is right at the square before the building. A short walk from the palace will get you to the main square. Here you can find some small stands with local products. During the winter it is also a good spot to get hot chocolate and enjoy the Christmas markets. From here you can continue to walk through the city center. It's not very big, but decorated with small romantic streets and various sculptures. You will for sure walk through the Michael's Gate, which is the only city gate that has been preserved of the medieval fortifications. Today it's a spot for beggars or people showing their talents. Not far away from the historical downtown, you can find the Grosolkovich place, which is the residence of the president of Slovakia. In front of it, you can see a modern fountain and in the back, beautiful presidential gardens. It's a good spot to chill out or have a picnic. When you get tired of walking and taking pictures, go to the Danube River and get yourself a refreshment. In the area of Eurovia, you will find plenty of bars, or just hang out at one of the bars under the Ufo Tower. Next to it, you also have the chance to explore the Sadjanka Krala, 
a romantic garden bordered by the Danube. If you plan your trip in the summer months, you can refresh yourself at Bratislava's lake called Zlata Pieski. It's a 20 minutes ride with the tram from the city center. It's a good spot to relax and if you like adrenaline, also a good location for wakeboarding. When you get hungry, please don't go to McDonald's and don't buy a kebab. A big part of Slovakian culture belongs to their cuisine. Walk to the Obchodna street, which is next to the old town center. Look for Slovak pub. Here you can get Slovak specialties for less than 4 euros. My recommendation is to try Brinzove Halushki. It's made of potato dumplings with sheep, cheese and bacon. In Bratislava, you can also get better pancakes than in Paris. Right in front of the central train station, look for a place called Latinka Platinka. They offer more than 30 various fillings. And here you will get the cheapest and best pancakes you have ever tried. In Bratislava, you can find many good clubs and bars. If you are on a budget, go to the Baron Bar located at Obchodna Street, close to the Slovak pub. Here you will get cheap drinks and meet Slovakian and international students. Definitely a place to go. If you look for a club, there are a few right at the beginning of, of the Obchodna Street. Channels and Friends are just a few of them. Mostly the admission here is not high or even for free. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. If you want to get more details about Bratislava, check out my website kubasjourneys.com. You will also find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.